What's going on guys, I'm Tom Coman Connors, professional street basketball player and multiple Guinness World Record holder. Thanks for tuning in, this is Garden Drills with me. Um, and basically today we're gonna learn a technique um, that you're gonna shoot straight onto the hoop and learn a great shooting drill, okay, to get great from shooting from the front. A lot of people don't like shooting from the front, or only like shooting from the front, from the side and so on and so forth. But today we're gonna do a drill from the front to help um, some games that you can do to get your shooting on point. Let's get straight into it. Guys, this tutorial is a, a, a technique to try and get, uh, to become a better shooter, okay? We're gonna be doing lots of these drills. This is just one. Um, obviously, um, we're not going into how to shoot or what the best technique is. This is more about what, how you shoot as an individual and this is just one drill. We're gonna be putting loads of drills together. This is just a bit of fun as well, guys, okay? So for me, I know I've got some slabs, the square slabs. You guys might have some concrete, don't worry about that. You can mark it down with some chalk or pens or objects, whatever, but we're looking to go almost under the hoop and we're looking to shoot uh, a basket, okay? But we're looking, the first drill to put on together is just looking for one shot, really simple stuff, okay? So we're looking to, to, to put in, we'll take one step back, okay? And we're gonna add another shot, one step back, add a shot, okay? One step back. Obviously, maybe you've got a friend that you can help out if you, if, you know, to throw you the ball back. So as I said before, guys, it's a, it's a step game back, okay? So you're stepping back each time straight, okay? Just one step and then you're shooting, okay? So it's, it, there's nothing complicated about it, okay? And you're gonna go maybe to, I don't know, but as much room as you got in the garden, three-point room um, or, or whatever, okay? So for me, that, that's what you wanna do. It's great to do it with a friend, okay? You can pass the ball back, you can have competitions. So you're looking to shoot, one step, one step, one step, one step, one step, okay, straight from the front. However, we're gonna pick it up then when if you're a good shooter, you can shoot and you're consistently hitting shots. We can only move on once you hit a swish, okay? We all know what a swish is, right? So the basketball's gotta go through the net without touching the hoop. Then you get to step back, okay? That's two swishes. So you can't move back in this game unless you hit the perfect shot, which obviously is the swish, okay? You can't move forward. No swish. A great technique is to shoot a little bit higher and an arc, so you get the swish and you get to move back, okay? So the, this, is, this is the reason why I'm trying to teach you this drill. And it's quite boring in many ways or you guys may have switched off or whatever. But for me, I'd practice this for hours from different spots and I'll tell you why. Because it's not practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice makes perfect. Practice doesn't make perfect, per perfect, perfect practice makes perfect. So, you can shoot shots and you can hit the rim, whatever, and then we're gonna up the game, okay? Because I'm a bit of a freaky like that, okay? Things have gotta be 100 times over perfect every single time. So, even when you're here, you can't move forward unless there's a swish. You can mark yourself 10 steps back, different objects, get a friend over. You'd be like, hey man, swish. Ain't no swish, okay? It's, it ain't perfect. It went in, but it ain't good enough for me. And that's why I'm out here, you know, playing street ball and playing basketball for a living because perfect practice makes perfect. You have to put your life, dedication to playing. So the first game, just to recap, is just step back. You hit, say 10 shots. I know 10 shots might take you to about here, maybe. Okay, but swish, you can't move back until, it, until you nail it. The second game is the same. You cannot move forward unless you hit a swish. It's a pretty simple drill. You do it from the front, and then you know what? You can do it from the side. The side, this is what I'm saying. This is from the front, okay? This is from the front. Because some people can only shoot from the front. The amount of times I play with people, and they always shoot when they're facing the hoop. But the minute they get to the side of the hoop, they're like, uh-oh, <laughs> they can't hit the shot. So you've got to put drills in place to be able to shoot from wherever you are. But this was a drill not from the side, okay? This is not from the side to be able to hit shots or whatever, it's from the front, okay? So this is the drill, the technique to be able to, to, to shoot 
it's not about how the technique to shoot. As long as your right foot is slightly in front of your left, okay, when you shoot, your right foot has to be slightly in front of your left, your shoulders straight, knees bent, okay? It's all about motion. Go and watch some of my other tutorials on how to shoot the techniques. But once you've got it, this is a great game that you can play with a friend. Over and over and over and over. Repetition, guys. Remember, practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Doesn't matter how many times. Bam. Swish. It's all about being great. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not. Head over to my Facebook for way, way more. Instagram even way, way, way more. And I'll be back soon right here with another Garden Drills. This was a shooting one. We're going to be getting into loads more stuff. Um, street ball moves, freestyle trick shots, handles, bring backs, all kinds of cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching me and my family. Really do appreciate it. Take care, guys.